so hello everyone welcome to my channel so in this video i will be solving this problem uh, explaining this problem uh, count number of homogeneous substring so in this video first of all we will discuss the problem then we will uh, build our approach and then we will code it okay so problem uh, it makes it clear itself uh, so given a substring uh, string s return the number of homogeneous substrings of s okay so let's go to an example a b b uh, triple c double a okay so in this substring a, the character A appears three times, the character double A appears one time, the character B appears two times and so on. So you are seeing these homogeneous substrings are continuous substrings, continuous, there is no break and they are all of composed of similar characters. So here the answer is 13, okay. So you know what, it can be done easily. Uh, see, if I am seeing this character, I will just go at all what I thought was it was my approach that I can do it like using pre-processing not pre-processing -pre processing initially but later on so see if I am at character A I went on to see okay if I had to use this character then how many how many uh, like continuous substrings I can make from this character right now so right now I find out that okay I can make only one okay now I go on to this uh, uh, this character from this character I can make to, uh, a itself it is also a substring and i can use these two characters also to make a substring so it will be one plus two and similarly for this from this also we can make a, what we can take itself and we can take this thing so it will also give me answer two but you know as you can see it is overlapping so for overlapping i will do a pre-processing okay i will explain it later on for from this c also you can take this character itself or you can make it uh, uh, and and also you can take these two characters and then these three characters and so on so just you have to go to every character and check how many uh, continuous substrings you can make from there okay so what i will be doing is that i will be uh, see uh, to uh, remove the get rid of the overlapping cases i will be only going towards the left okay so it will be clear Uh, just a second okay so it will be clear uh, once, uh, it will be clear uh, now so suppose at a a is itself a one character now i go on to b so i see that the b's previous character is not p so it will again be one here now i go on to this character uh, this character i see that yes a homogeneous character exists earlier so what i will do is i will do its uh, count itself one and then i will add the number of homogeneous characters that are starting from uh, b that i can make by using the previous character so it will be one plus one two now i come to c for c i see that okay c and b are not matching so i will write out one here now for uh, c again i will see that okay there is a homogeneous character just uh, in the left of it so i will just add this one plus one it will be two now i go on to this uh, c i will see that okay it's uh, left side is also matching so i will do what one plus the number of characters in the uh, previous that i no number of substrings that i can make from the previous character so it will be three okay now i come to here one so c and a are not matching so there will be one now uh, i come to this now a and a are matching so it will be two so these are the total number of substrings that i can make from these individual characters so for the answer what will i have to do is i have to sum it all so one plus one two two plus two four five six seven ten eleven twelve thirteen so i hope it will be pretty much clear by now so now let's code it so coding part is also once you develop the approach the coding part is not that difficult so since it has asked me the results can be really large so i will do a modulo int m is equal to 1 e9 1 e9 plus 7 okay now what so if if s dot size is equal to 0 uh, so suppose this is an empty string then i will return simply 0 now let's go on i will make this uh, uh, what this is temporary length vector okay so in this i will store these pre-processed results so let's make it vector int length comma s dot size comma zero okay now i will just make one length zero length zero is equal to one okay so for just let's assume for the first character it will be one obviously it will be one 
and the answer the final result let let the final result also be one because for one character one is always the answer now let's make a for loop for int i is equal to one i less than s dot size s dot size i plus plus okay now for each substring okay so if i am looking at a particular substring suppose this substring this substring itself it itself is a like homogeneous substring this character so one will also always be there for like one will always be there uh, and now if s i is equal to s i minus one so basically what i am doing here is that i am checking that okay it's the previous character from this is is it also similar so if it is similar then i will take all these uh, the number of substrings that i am getting from this position and add it to my original substring so just let me do this so length i is equal to what is equal to length of i that is basically one length of i plus length of length of i minus one okay and after doing this i what i will do is i will increase the sum sum is equal to sum plus length of i okay so by this my sum will also keep on calculating itself updating itself then and now at the end i will return okay it is uh let's name it sum okay oh uh, it's quite sometimes gets confusing so sum will be my final result so now one more thing i have to do since the value can be large i will have to insert the modulo so let's make it percent m okay percent m percent m i'm just not taking any chances so i'm using percent m a lot of times so percent m here is also now i will just add a modulo here modulo here and modulo here all these are not necessary but i just like adding them okay now let's test this code okay it's so far it seems correct let's run this for all the test cases 13 to 15 oh it's correct so now let's submit it it's accepted okay so i hope it will be pretty much clear to you so if you like this video then please do subscribe to my channel for more such videos it it really motivates me and helps the channel grow so thank you and have a nice day